guys, it's Chicken the Android Phoenix here, and today I'll be showing you how to use um the tool blur on Paint Tool Sorry. So um, let's get started. So basically, some people are wondering how to do like a blended background. So um, I'm just gonna grab some random colors from the hue wheel. I don't know what it's called the hue wheel, but it's, yeah, it's just pretty awkward. So um, yeah, we have the blur tool. And we have the canvas acryl paper acryl in crayon, but I think most most people use is the pencil airbrush brush roller color. I'm not sure about the watercolor though or watercolor. Um, marker eraser, cell pencil erase, bucket and, and and legacy pen. I don't know. I just call it legacy, but people are kind of like forgetting about um these three um tools here but i'm not sure about the blur tool counts one as well so um you'll be using the four forgotten tools slash features on paint tool size so let's get started so um so we have this which is kind of based on what type of size you put so i'm just trying to see it right now and then you're going to um, paint like the background or whatever you want it but some of you might name your layer background so like i'm going to name it background that's what i do sometimes when i um do my pictures so i won't get confused on which one's the background i'm going to was the actual layer so yeah <clears throat> And then we're going to grab another color that's kind of good fitting for the background, like dark blue. And then we're going to shorten the size a bit of the canvas acryl. And then we're going to color this in. Now, some of you might blur it first or do your colors next. But um, I pretty much decided to do like the blur first. But I would might as well try like to do... Um, you know the other method that people use so as you see i just put a green there and then another color which is going to be yellow um orangeish yellow and i'm going to color that in and then i'm going to add some red to it it's not bad but i could use some work now we're going to use the paper curl for the um edges for your background so if you want to make this type of background this is a pretty good tutorial for it and we're going to use the blur tool. Well, some of you may not know what the blur tool is, but um, I'll show you what it is anyway. So the blur tool is something that kind of is something like a blending in. So as you see, um, the bl color blue is blending in with the pink. And then if you do it along with the line with the right size, um, you get the perfect, bl perfect blend. So as you see, I'm shrinking my size. So the... Um, my picture won't look weird with only one size of the blur brush or the blurring tool thingy. And then we're going to blur these, like, you know, blend these edges into the pink. And, yeah, some people have made, like, some people don't use the blur tool and they somehow found it on their paint tool side and they're like what does this do and then when they kind of like through with it nothing appears they're like you know what i'm never using this brush ever again wow okay so um now some people may wondering how do you use like for like an animal or so so i'm gonna skip this part and i'm gonna draw something random so see you on maybe later okay so now i drew a random cat which is very weird so um that's just for the example picture. So as you see here, I put my color all the way to black and grabbing a marker or a crayon for the blur thingy. So I'm just going to use a crayon and put it to size 20 or bigger. So that's just 120. Um, so we're just going to use the wand tool. I don't even know why I just, I just wanded the whole entire picture, but, um, We're just gonna um, make this three dimensional. So um, we're gonna add a new layer. So just in case we mess up here, you can erase it, and then there your other layer can stay the same. So as you see, the rain is taking over my video. So I don't want that. So I'm gonna talk as fast as I can before my computer uses size usage or whatever. And now we're gonna use this crayon, and we are gonna color um, the parts that people might think is gonna be dark. 
So as you see here, I am doing this. Okay. Okay. So we have the uh, black, and now we're going to grab our blend or slash blur tool, and then we're going to put the right size, and we're going to blur this in or whatever. So yeah. Now the rain is taking over my video. Why is it taking over my video so badly? And by the way, I'm gonna make the um the transparent thing a little lighter because this looks too shadowy. Yeah. So I think this uh, oh, I forgot the ears, gosh darn it. So we're just going to fastly erase it. Okay, don't even mention that noise before. That was my mother. She was just going to check on me to see what was I doing. And I was doing a tutorial on how to like try to help you guys to use pink size. Okay, I'm just going to, you know, pack up my stuff and yeah, that. Okay, so I guess this is all for today's little tutorial on how to use pink to size and what oh i always have to forget to mention the ears but um i'm just gonna jump cut this part and you can see what it looks like okay i finished the ears and i guess this is all for days today's for the eh, for today's little tutorial and i guess i'll see you in my next one